actually do it with manual exposure. And the best way is to have the aperture fixed because you want to fix depth of field. You don't want that depth of field to change in your photographs. So if you're using manual, you just set your aperture and your shutter speed so it's correct for your scene according to what the camera calculates. And then you turn the shutter speed higher to get an underexposure and then lower to get an overexposure and then you use those three images. In this particular video, we're going to talk about processing these files where you've actually taken a number of exposures and combining them. Now the software I use, and there's a bunch of different options, I use a software called Photomatix and that seems to work really well. There's actually a 64-bit version and it processes files really good. So this one's Photomatix Pro 4.1 and this is the program you use to combine those images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the images we shot earlier where I have the the three different versions. I have the normal version, I have an underexposed version by two stops and an overexposed version by two stops and we're going to combine those to show you what HDRI can do. Now there's one thing that you'll notice too out on the internet if you go search HDRI. HDRI can be really overdone too. Some people process them and you get these really fruity looking pictures and it's it can be really overdone and it looks a little bit too much. So I'm going to show you what happens if you overprocess and and also what happens if you use more subtle techniques and that's really I actually prefer it when the HDRI is not so obvious but it's a little subtle but it's, it brings a lot more color to the images by having detail where there, there's normally shadows. So let's go ahead and bring in our first series of images. So from now on I'm going to cut to a screen capture so that you can actually get a high resolution version of what we're doing on the screen. Okay, so we're going to take three images and take them into Photomatix here. So these are the images we're dealing with. We've got our, our regular exposed or correct exposed image. We've got our underexposed image by two stops where we see a little bit of blue sky detail back there but lost a lot of shadow detail and finally our overexposed image where we, we now have shadow detail but we've totally blown out the highlights so we can just take these three images and drag them straight onto the Photomatix icon there's actually a few ways you can open images. You can drag them onto the icon or you can open Photomatix first and import the images that way. So we're getting the nice greens of the vegetation there. And we have some four colors in there so we do want those to be fairly warm. Okay so once we're happy with that then if we like we can save that preset. I tend to save my presets because I like to come back to them later especially if I've taken a number of images in, in the same scene. So let's save that as a preset and we call that forest path I'll have that added to my presets now and then once we're happy with that we can go process and now it's actually combining those images and creating our full high resolution version of that combined image. So, so that's our tone map version which is our high dynamic range image processed so that it can be seen on the monitor. 